Some time ago I requested a piece of software that would move my files to the relevant folders when I right click them. The top comment on this video said, just drag the file, how hard is that? Those of you who follow my videos will know I have a stuff folder. That's grown to 171,000 files big. Let's talk about how I'm going to organize these and an automated solution to prevent this happening in the future. You can use this to sort out your downloads or Dropbox folder to get the files in the various locations, or you can use this as a batch file processing tool to do a bunch of cool things, which I'll talk about in a second. So this is Drop It, it's available for free. You can drag it anywhere as you can see, and it's pretty much an image that goes on top of an application. I can hide it if I wish, and it'll go into the taskbar, and it runs itself off associations as you see here. I've got a few that are already set up, so my Camtasia recordings are going to my documents Camtasia Studio Studio folder, links are getting automatically sent to the recycle bin. So to make an association I can click new or I can take for example this .txt file and drag it over the top and it says do I want to create an association? Yes. This is where the magic happens. So the name of this is going to be test, it's going to take all text files, now I can actually dig down here, process files with certain extensions, certain names, certain folders, or go into the folders further and go certain locations, certain folder names really dig down or go even further than that and say only process sizes so for example more than a certain few megabytes or certain attributes and a bunch of other stuff which is very nice to have for the rules under action I can go more than just moving these into locations as I said I can compress multiple files I can encrypt multiple files I can upload to an FTP server I can create an HTML list you may see some of these online where people make a list of all the songs that they have and make a web page out of it you can do that too you can create a gallery copy to clipboard a bunch of stuff here for batch processing which is ideal in this case I'm just going to take that test text and move it to the result folder click OK click Save and it pretty much does it automatically. And here is my result folder. I open that and there is my test.txt. Now I chose this in the options to uh, start the process after loading. That way it doesn't confirm every time because obviously that's gonna get quite annoying if you have a lot of files and you have to confirm each one. But be careful with that because you may end up doing something wrong and you may end up moving something to the wrong place. So after all that, that's not really automatic. That's me dragging files into this thing. I don't want to do that. So you'll see here we have a monitoring tab. So what this will actually do is continually scan multiple folders on your system. And if any folder gets, oh sorry, any file that gets put into that folder will then get processed by this program. This is great because you can do for example getting an mp3 off the internet you can enable the scan to go to your downloads folder and then move it to something like this folder here automatically add to itunes and what you then have a system in place is whenever you download music on the internet you automatically see it pop up inside itunes it's a very quick way to do that so this is just monitoring oops, inside the drop it application so this can run itself at startup. You can have this in the system tray. It's called Drop It. It's available for free. I'll provide a download link in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one.